guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Today is a somber yet hopefully celebratory video on the incredible icon herself, Jane Birkin, and the amazing very famous bag that she inspired. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. So as we know, sadly, Jane Birkin passed away this past weekend. She was such an icon. If you guys haven't seen Mary's Room, she has such an incredible video she posted the day that Jane passed away. And it's so lovely, it's so celebratory, kind of going over her style, her fashion choices, her different eras, her different iterations, the kind of cool, effortless, chic, amazing girl that she was. Truly that like it girl icon of the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. We love her so, so much. I'm sure you guys have heard this story a thousand, thousand, thousand times, but just maybe for the one person who hasn't, Jane Birkin was a multifaceted singer, actress, fashionista, cool girl all around. She was known for carrying this really cool wicker bag and she would just stuff all her things in. The story goes that she was on a flight one day with the chief executive of Hermes, Jean-Louis Dumas. Literally all of her things fell out of her bag as she was putting it on the shelf. She complained about not really being able to find a bag that worked for her. He insisted on making the perfect everyday bag for her that she could either wear open or lock in place so that none of her things would fall out. We love a good story. We love the human aspect of that. And honestly, I've just always been such a fan. You guys know me. Okay, I wear my bags. I have been a huge fan of the way that Jane Birkin kind of pioneered like wearing pieces as they're meant to be worn, kind of like Duh, no offense to people who keep their bags in a temperature controlled glass box. That's amazing as well. When you buy quality pieces, whether you're buying gold or whether you're buying Hermes leather quality, these pieces are truly made to outlive us all, to outlive our children even. It passed down, be worn. And so, I don't know, I just always loved seeing pictures. I've watched a bunch of interviews with Jane Birkin. She just seemed like, such a cool, like clearly child of the 70s, free spirit. The fact that she would wear one bag at a time, wear that one Birkin, completely personalize it, wear it the exact way that she wanted to wear it, stuff it, fill it up, throw it over her arm, put it on the ground. I love that. Over the years, once her bags were too worn to be worn anymore, her bags would go up for auction to be donated. And some of those bags have still been floating around today, which I'm sure will become even more popular, even more valued. Some of those bags have sold for a pretty penny. Absolutely love this idea. I think she was a pioneer and we all know me. I love buying vintage. I love reselling. I love reusing things that somebody doesn't want anymore. Now let's get into the good stuff. Okay, so we all have been watching these incredible, <laughs> incredible bags worn and owned by Jane Birkin. We're gonna go into some of my personal favorite celebrity-owned Birkins and also just Birkin styles, and then maybe one or two that might be on my own wish list. I'm gonna start out with, I, I made a shorts video on this, and so I'm sure a bunch of you guys are rolling your eyes. Love her or hate her, Kimberly Kardashian has one of the coolest Birkin collections. I'm sorry, I just, I just gotta say it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, okay? The custom hand-painted George Kondo Birkin went like I just, the speechless, okay? Kanye West had George Kondo do his My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy album cover. And so George Kondo and Kanye West had a relationship and I believe for one of her presents, he made her a custom painted George Kondo Hermes Birkin. I'm sorry, but like hands down, 
to the dopest bag of all time. The idea of painting an incredible bag, especially an Hermes bag, like I just think it's the coolest thing of all time, the way that Kim has worn this bag, especially in recent years, she hasn't worn it out recently. This picture with her and Michelle Lamy in Paris, like, you guys, it's kind of the coolest thing ever. She also has some like archival, her and Kris Jenner have like some of the craziest Hermes and Birkin bags I've ever seen. A few of the other notables, Kim has a couple Himalayans, Kim has some amazing exotics. I also love the hand painted her bag that Kanye also had North paint on when she was a baby. That's such a cool thing. I would absolutely, like that's, su that's such a me thing to do is like one day, God willing, when I have a baby, like be like, paint on this bag, girl or boy. Lastly from Kim, because I know you guys want me to move on. She has a suede body Birkin. We know, I, we know I'm gonna love any brown bag that exists, okay? So aside from that, the fact that it's both leather and suede, like, oh my God. We know I have some weird thing for like canvas pieces or half suede pieces, things where like leathers are mixed together. That is just like, that is one of the coolest bags also I've ever seen. How could I talk about this video and how could it be me without talking about Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's Hermes Birkin collection because these ladies know how to do it right. You guys know in my very first video about my Kelly, which we'll get to in a second, I was like, I was so inspired by Mary-Kate Olsen's incredibly beat up Kelly bag, but that's not all that they have. Before they launched their own bags in 2011, which you guys know I have from their very first collection, oh my God, which I'm absolutely obsessed with and over the moon with, they wore their Hermes bags pretty much exclusively. Oh my God, they have, they have some insane exotics as well. Can we also just off topic shout out to this green exotic Constance bag. Also, yes, I did some searching on that. Maybe, you know, like age 50 wish list goal, okay? They're just incredible. And honestly, they are probably, I would say, the biggest example of wear your bags, wear your bags, wear your bags, guys, wear your bags. But also, just to be clear, like, these bags get so beat up because they are worn. So a quick tangent, the way that Jane and Mary-Kate and Ashley have gotten their bags to look that cool and that beaten up by wearing them. And it's like the same thing that I say with jewelry. Like when you get a scratch on your piece, it's okay because you got a scratch on your piece probably doing something that you will remember. It's a memory, just a reminder that these bags get so beaten up by actually wearing them. So they're not gonna look beaten up when they come fresh out the box, unless you buy the beaten up one, which is also super dope. I digress. And lastly, how could you talk about a Birkin collection without talking about Victoria Beckham's? Cause she notoriously has one of the most insane ones. And I just have to make one quick shout out to this red, deep red exotic crocodile bag. <laughs> Can you guys imagine having this in your, like, could you even, I could not even fathom having a bag this incredible in my, like, this is, this is one of the, this is insane. This is a work of art. I would wear this bag so proudly. Oh my God. It's just so good. Can you imagine, like, this is gonna go to her grandchildren. I'm sure her kids already wear it. Like, it's just so cool. She has one of the most iconic Birkin collections. Now let's go on to what I might one day love to add to my own collection. For now, I have my two Hermes bags, you guys. This is my very first Hermes Kelly. Her name is Prince. One day I was out at a bodega and some sweet older gentleman called my dog Prince and I was wearing this bag and I was like, that's a really good name for my bag. We're, we're non-gender conforming, you know? So this is Prince. She's amazing, I love her so much. Even something like this, like, I added my little Kadena. Sometimes you guys have seen, I add my little chain on here with some vintage pendants. I have a Prada strap. You guys, I just wore this on vacation. Like I am, I am so excited for this to start getting even more worn. And my her bag, which came to me super beaten up. It has some pen marks and all types of things. I put my little charms on here. Forgive me for this one replica piece. I will ever have, AKA fake bag charm. All right, we'll get over that. 
vintage Gucci. Like, I love this bag and I can't wait for this to get even more beaten up. It's such a good laptop bag. We love her. But you guys, I saw, I saw a bag that I'm now dreaming about and I, I can't stop thinking about it from Prelover Studio in Hamburg, Germany. There is a bag. There is a box leather chocolate brown market. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I do think, I do think I would want a box Birkin one day. Like that would just be, that would be, oh, I can see it now guys, I can see it now, okay? So again, I think Jane Birkin's first maybe Birkin was in box leather. Box leather as we know was one of the most widely produced leathers from Hermes for decades. So it makes sense that some of the most iconic Birkins are in box, a black box leather Birkin, a red, ooh, like a Bordeaux box leather Birkin would be so amazing. One that I've talked about would be the shoulder Birkin. Like I, this I could see actually adding to my like somewhat practical wish list in the next year or so. It's so cool. It's like they chopped it in half. Jean-Paul Gaultier obviously has created some of the most iconic Hermes bags for Hermes while he was creative director. And this is just uh, like, I don't know. I think this is highly, highly, highly underrated. The Birkin hack, which I'm not even gonna try to pronounce, so I'll put the actual name on the screen, not just the acronym. This was the original Birkin, okay? Jane Birkin's whole story essentially comes from this bag. The chief executive of Hermes then kind of made it obviously a little bit more squatty, a little bit more practical, maybe made the handles longer in certain sizes. The hack is the OG, okay? How cool would it be to have one of those one day? One of my dear friends, Ricky, I love you like was like, um, hello, find me this bag, please. I need this bag. It's like, you still need it. It's so cool. I just found an insane blue one on the real world. It's just like, these bags are so insane. And I think a lot of people just because of the proportions want newer versions of the Birkins in the last 40 years. However, I think the hack is underrated. The last bag that I would consider inspired by, you guys know, the incredible Alyssa Lenore, who has one of the most comprehensive, incredible Hermes collections, in my humble opinion. She made, I, I, well, clearly I'm a Kelly gal, okay? So clearly we know I love Kelly's. That's what I wanted to go for first. However, she made a Birkin 25, I believe, in Cellier in Nata. Oh, after I saw that bag, I was like, all right, I could be convinced to be a Birkin gal for this kind of a bat. Like that is such a gorgeous bag. I feel like if I did get a Birkin, I would be much more like the big bag, make this your work bag, make this your travel bag, make this your throw around bag. However, even though I'm larger, the 25 is totally not practical, even just for my hand size, even for my arm size. It would be kind of cool to have a 25 like in such a beautiful neutral shade like that. That is just so gorgeous. And something about the Cellier Birkin at first I wasn't into because it's like Birkin should be more relaxed and kind of cool. Something about that Cellier, I don't know. A little bit up in the air whether these are still available or whether you can do them in special order only or even whether they're doing them at all. But in a perfect world, a Cellier Birkin 25, oh my gosh. That would be absolutely so gorgeous. That has been, you guys, the overview of the bag inspired by the amazing Jane Birkin, rest in peace, to such an icon. Thank you guys as always for watching. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.